I am Kinsley Bell. I'm a graduate student at the Hussman Institute of Human Genetics at the University of Miami. Uh, my research focuses mainly on modeling Parkinson's disease. And this is a, a neurodegenerative disease. Uh, usually there's a genetic component and that's what we study here. So the work that I do is uh, basically modeling Parkinson's disease. Of course, you know, we cannot cut open a patient's brain and really understand the disease, but we can use uh, cells from these patients to kind of model the disease in a dish. So we can, you know, repeat experiments, really find, you know, what genes are involved and really have an in-depth look at the disease to lead to possible treatments and cures in the future. It's kind of an interesting envi environment, lots of um, interesting, very smart people that you get to learn from. So you're really learning from, if you want to be a scientist, you have to learn from real scientists and that's what the lab affords you to do. I was born in Florida. Of course, everyone, you know, thinks they're going to be a doctor at some point. I was definitely interested in that. Um, I kind of uh, had experience in, in undergrad where I volunteered in labs and also volunteered in the, in the hospitals. And I, you know, was really more drawn to the medical uh, research because, you know, you're at your own pace. You get to interact with uh, a lot of different people. And you really get to research what you're most interested in. So your work changes every day and it changes with your interest. So in high school, uh, I was really fortunate to have a few opportunities. I first uh, started working in a reference lab uh, related to the, the hospital in my area. And then in my uh, junior and senior years, I actually went to the university, University of Florida to kind of learn and really be immersed in the actual like, university level um, research. For most research, what we want is a better understanding. Then from there, from this better understanding, that leads to possible treatments and so and possibly cures so that we can you know improve the life of Parkinson's disease patients. In this field like I said uh, there's a lot of new technology and a lot of uh, new techniques so of course they don't always work 100 percent of the time in the beginning so there's a lot of troubleshooting there's a lot of um, customizing your experiments and uh, really trying to focus in on questions that you can actually answer and that you have the ability to answer. These are some the most fascinating thing is that uh, um, I learned about uh, induced pluripotent stem cells a few years ago when I was an undergrad, and I always thought that it would be cool if I get, would I be able to work on them, and it just so happens that I was able to. So, like, every day I go into lab, and, I, and I'm even surprised that we even have IPS technology, and that I get to actually participate in the research. In the next few years, I hope to graduate and um, then go on and do a postdoc and possibly, uh, you know, either stay in academia or explore uh, public and I mean, private industry. I think that um, just having an interest is a very good start. Anything you're interested in, like, you're never too young to seek out opportunities. Um, and I would just tell them to, you know, find these opportunities uh, and do your best at them. If you like it, you know, then stay in the field. If you don't like it, you find something else. Thank you.